Hey guys, Mike here with Noisegate. Today we're checking out the Korg Nautilus, the Yamaha Montage, and the Yamaha Mod X. These three keyboards represent three price tiers of music workstations. Now, while the Yamaha Mod X is the lowest price tier of these three, it actually shares the exact same sound engine as the Yamaha Montage, their flagship unit. There are some limitations with its polyphony compared to the Montage, and obviously there's some differences in the quality of its keyboard and the construction but all the sounds achievable with the montage are achievable with the Mod X as well. The Korg Nautilus is Korg's latest music workstation and it takes its pedigree from the flagship Kronos range. It packs all nine synth engines that you would find in the Kronos with a few little additional extras. Price-wise, it sits between the montage and the Mod X. Each of these keyboards is available from 61 key up to 88 key. The 88 keys of the montage and the Korg Nautilus have a piano-like feeling keybed. But enough chatter, let's hear them starting with traditional piano sounds. Moving on to the Nautilus, the Korg features the SGX2 piano engine, which provides tons of options for you to tweak the sound to your liking. Alright, let's check out some electric piano and organ sounds. For many of these patches, the Montage and the Mod X cleverly blend between sample playback and straight up synthesis. Okay, now for the Nautilus. The Nautilus actually features specific engines for the organ and electric piano sounds. Korg's electric piano engine reproduces seven different classic electric pianos, as well as a number of classic amplifiers and stomp boxes. CX3 engine reproduces their classic 1970s tone wheel organ of the same name. Having a look at some orchestral patches, Yamaha's Seattle Sections Library really shines.
Korg also bring to the table a huge library of orchestral sounds, and as you'd expect, there's a number of combi presets ready to go. Okay, let's keep things moving and look at some synth sounds. So the Yamahas feature two engines, a sample based engine and an FM synthesis engine with a whopping eight operators to work with. Korg certainly has a few cards up its sleeve when it comes to synth sounds. It has onboard recreations of two of their classic analog synths, the Poly 6 and the MS-20. You can even use virtual patch cables using the touch screen to program in your own patches. The Korg certainly isn't limited to just the classic analog sounds though. It has an engine called the Mod 7, which is a very capable FM synth in itself. Okay, we've gotten the basics out of the way. Let's take a look at some of the more unique features of each of these keyboards, starting with the two Yamahas. So a big part of Yamaha's marketing around these two has been focused on this kind of unfortunately named Super Knob. It's basically a macro controller. You can program it to do just about anything on these two keyboards. And of course, it comes with a lot of patches really exploring the possibilities there such as simply blending between sound engines like on this one. Or maybe something a bit more extreme. Yes, 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 yes,
also included a really wonderful and programmable motion sequencer. Yamaha have also added in another morphing feature called a Smart Morph. It allows you to blend between multiple saved states using the touchscreen. So as you can tell, Yamaha have really put a lot of thinking into adding movement to sound with both physical controls and the touchscreen. Korg have gone a bit of a different route, a bit more of a traditional workstation route, like creative sample libraries, such as the prepared piano library. And one for you film scorers, the Cinematic Effect Collection. The library also includes a pretty awesome found sound collection. Now something that Korg have really been pushing in their marketing is the arpeggiator scenes. Nautilus allows you to layer programs in combis. You can have up to 16 layers of programs in a combi. Some of those can be utilized in the arpeggiator scenes while the others are played manually. Being a more traditional workstation, the Korg also has a fully fledged sequencer with 16 audio tracks and 16 MIDI tracks. When used alongside the arpeggiator scenes, this is an immensely powerful songwriting tool.
And of course, being a proper sequencer, you can edit your sequences via the track edit page. All right, let's take a look at the differences between the Yamaha Montage, the flagship and the Mod X. There are much less button shortcuts along the right hand side of the Mod X compared to the Montage. There are four sliders and rotary controllers on the left hand side compared to eight on the Montage. The Mod X has a pitch wheel and a mod wheel. The Montage has a pitch wheel, mod wheel and a ribbon controller. Aftertouch is only equipped on the Montage. And while the Montage FM sound engine is equipped with 128 voices of polyphony, it goes down to 64 on the Mod X. Like the Korg Nautilus, the Montage is a mostly metal construction, whereas the Mod X is entirely plastic. The total polyphonic voice count on the Nautilus is not as clear cut as each of the nine engines features a different max. For example, the CX-3 organ goes right up to 200 voices of polyphony, while the MS-20 maxes out at 40. But a big difference between the Korg and the two Yamahas that we haven't addressed is that the Nautilus is a very capable sampler. With the Nautilus, you can create totally custom, complex, multi-sampled instruments with audio recorded from the external inputs or resampled from the unit itself. The two Yamahas do not feature an onboard sampler. Another advantage of the Korg that's worthy of mention is the extra analog outputs. The Korg features four assignable outputs, whereas the Montage just features two. And of course, we can't get through this video without mentioning these nifty pop-out knobs. Build quality wise, the Nautilus and the Montage are absolutely premium units. They are quite heavy. You wouldn't want to be walking around the city long distances with one of these on your back. If you are going to do that, the Mod X could be a better choice because it's quite light. You could comfortably get a bus with this. But being a lighter keyboard, there's definitely some compromises on the build quality compared to the Montage and Nautilus. So there you have it guys, a little taste of what each of these keyboards can bring to the table. We have the Montage and the Mod X with their two synthesis engines that are quite powerful. The eight operator FM synth is certainly unique. Or you have the more traditional Nautilus workstation with its comprehensive sequencer. The nine synthesis engines with that MS-20 and Poly-6 engine as well. That is heaps of fun. But as always, well worth heading down to a store, checking these out for yourself. It's a very personal and subjective decision. I hope that's been a helpful video for you. If you have any questions, bang them in the comments. Subscribe for more content and uh, check out the article for more details. Thanks for watching. See you next time.